Just beyond the busy streets of Freetown, in Sierra Leone, lies the Western Area Peninsula National Park. Inside this 42,000-acre forest reserve is one of the last refuges for Sierra Leone's western chimpanzees, the Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary. Takugama was established in November 1995, and our aim is to rehabilitate orphan and captive chimpanzee with the aim of releasing them back in the wild. The founders of Takugama are Bala Amara Sekaran and his wife Sharmila. The two opened the sanctuary together to care for orphan chimpanzees. At first, they focused on rescuing chimpanzees from the pet trade, but now Bala says the biggest threat they face is deforestation. The current problem we are facing is the habitat destruction. As long as the country allows the timber to go out of this country and massive logging going on, we will continue to lose their homes. Now, Takugama has 111 chimpanzees under its care. They're separated into communities, each with their own enclosure. Some are as close to the natural environment as the sanctuary can provide. They are living a semi-independent. You can only see them during feeding time, and after collecting the food, they go into the forest. Most of the chimpanzees here are orphans, whose parents were killed by hunters. After the babies are rescued, they're brought to the sanctuary and slowly introduced to their new family. We start with the dominant male and uh, female. If the dominant male and female accept the baby, it will be very easier for the rest of the group to accept the baby. In 2019, the Western chimpanzee was named the official national animal of Sierra Leone. But that announcement came from the government. To protect the species, help from the communities that live in forested areas is crucial. At the moment, we are working with three communities to upgrade them as uh, ecotourism destinations. So if you create value for what you're asking them to protect, they will protect. The reason is that they need to have something in return. You cannot continue to preach them. And while Takugama is a popular destination for tourists and Sierra Leonean school children, it's also symbolic of an ecological tragedy for the country. If chimpanzees weren't being hunted and their habitats destroyed, there wouldn't be a need for a sanctuary. Scientists have proved that uh, every time you have a chimp landing in a sanctuary, probably eight to 10 chimps would have died. So if you look at 111 chimps here, I mean, you're looking at probably a thousand chimps died. Bala is committed to giving the chimpanzees at Takugama a good life, but he's hopeful that someday they won't need the sanctuary as much as they do now. It's time you realize you're only addressing to the symptom. You really need to look at the problem. Although it started as an orphanage or a sanctuary, but now we're addressing more looking at the root causes, looking at uh, what we need to do, how we can protect the wild chimpanzees from the places where they already are, so that probably you can slow down the number of chimps coming to the sanctuary.